them welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to today's show by your United States Air Force West Coast C-17 demonstration team from March Air Reserve Base in sunny Southern California. I'm Lieutenant Colonel Stu Rodriguez, and I'm... I am Master Sergeant Leo Williams, and I'm here to tell you a little bit, while this airplane is backing up, I'll tell you a little bit about these engines and how it's able to do that. Uh, the C-17 engines have some unique characteristics. First, they're mounted high on the wings to prevent ingesting dirt or small, or small objects at, uh, you know, dirt fields. And both engines have core and fan sections of the engines that have thrust reversers. And those two sections are blocked. Unlike conventional thrust reversers, the C-17 engines direct their thrust up and forward through something called cascades. So we don't stir up dirt and debris during landing and ground operations. Today's demonstration is flown by Evaluator Pilots Lieutenant Colonel Tim Harris, Major Dan Nichols with Safety Pilot Evaluator Lieutenant Colonel Keith Giot. The Loadmasters are Instructor Loadmaster Senior Master Sergeant Ken Erzin, er Master Sergeant Eric Brash, and Tech Sergeant Sergio Melendez. The crew chiefs who get our plane ready so we can go flying. Today our Master Sergeant Michael Sato and Technical Sergeant Gary Gillespie. Ladies and gentlemen, as the air crew aligns the aircraft with the runway. You'll notice, for those of you air, airplane aficionados, of course, I know there are quite a few here, you'll notice that our flaps aren't extended. They'll come extended in just a moment. They're so large, they actually deflect the engine exhaust and we will damage your runway. We don't want to build. In just a moment, the power is going to come up. The crew is running its final checks making sure that all the flight controls are in the proper position. The aircraft will take off performing a maximum angle climb, demonstrating its impressive power and its ability to depart an airport where enemy resistance is suspected. Ladies and gentlemen, put your fingers in your ears. Hold on to your loved ones. Hang on to your toupees and dial down your hearing aids because the big boy is taking the runway. And it's going to show you something absolutely amazing. You've got to be kidding me! I can't Look at that takeoff over 40 degrees nose high as the air crew rapidly departs the airfield, avoiding small arms, simulated small arms fire as it rolls out at 100. After completing this teardrop maneuver to align with the runway, the crew will accelerate to 250 knots, demonstrating the rapid strategic capability of the airplane. Only three crew members required to fly this airplane. Pilot, co-pilot, and one loadmaster. I might notice no flight engineers. Our flight engineer is now a computer. Ladies and gentlemen, that aircraft is powered by four Pratt & Whitney F-117 engines, each delivering over 40,000 pounds of thrust allowing it to cover, carry over 170,000 pounds of cargo over 3,200 nautical miles. Notice how quiet the C-17 is. As they come across as a banana pass. Officer Kadich, let's get your radar gun on our C-17. How fast, I mean, how slow are they going? What are we reading? It's getting a lock. 113, 10, 109, 108, 107, 6, 5, 100 miles an hour, 99, 95, 90, 89, 85, 81 miles, 81, oh, road block, 81 miles an hour, ladies and gentlemen, that airplane is almost 300,000 pounds, wing tip to wing tip is over half a football field. That tail is over five stories tall and empty. It weighs 280,000 pounds. But with maximum cargo and fuel loaded, the gross weight rises to over half a million pounds. That's right, we can stuff over 170,000 pounds of stuff inside this bad boy. Turns out an Abrams Notice tank the can only haul one because they weigh like Those things are nine 000. feet tall. I can't believe that, that's a heavy tank.
As the aircraft comes across show center, it's going to show a minimum diameter turn, 360 degree angle turn. Entered that turn at approximately 150 miles an hour. Going to make this 360 degree, 1,000 feet. As you notice, as it comes in the turn, we started configuring. We call this the transformer turn, just showing how agile and maneuverable a C-17, even at low altitude and low speed. Ladies and gentlemen, that minimum diameter turn is only 4,000 feet. That's on par with driving a stretch limo 80 miles an hour and try to make a 180 degree turn on a two lane road. You think you can do it? I don't think so, but a C-17 can turn on a dime. To so come back show center, the nose is gonna lower and start configuring. Ladies and gentlemen, as he breaks around to the north for another 90 right 270. Gonna pick, see the nose pitch up. Climb up to 1,500 feet above the grounds, simulating a tactical arrival to a short field landing. What do I mean tactical arrival? The good guys own the airfield, the bad guys are around. So we're going to fly high over the bad guys and come in like an elevator. It turns around in a tight 60 degree bank turn, again showing that incredible aerodynamic capability of the C-17. Going to set up. Watch as the aircraft seems to literally fall out of the sky. It seems to be dropping out of nowhere. That descent rate is over 1,000 feet per minute. At about 50 feet, you're gonna hear the engine spool up. The spot's marked. Sergeant Williams, Leo, what? how far do you think we're down? About, uh, I'd say 1,000 feet? I'd you, say about 1,000 feet. About 1,000 feet is gonna be our marked spot. Now watch, ladies and gentlemen, as the aircraft lands exactly on spot and then does something few aircraft can do in the world. Just think of this as an airliner on steroids. Power's up. Right on mark. Keeps it in full brush reverse. The pilots are out of the seat, standing on the brake. Look at the inlet vortices, little volcanoes right in front of the engines that are sucking. Give a big wave for those low bastards. Who is that? Is that Senior Master Sergeant Ken Erdwin or is that Tech Sergeant Melendez in the window? I can't tell. I don't know. My eight eyes can't see that far, Stu. Ladies and gentlemen, we want to thank you for your wonderful attention. Thank you for the opportunity to show you where your fellow Americans are doing every day. Each and every maneuver you've seen are flown by C-17 air crews on a daily basis. As you can see, they put the ramp down and loadmasters are waiting. That's because they're waiting for us. They're waiting for us. They're waiting for us. Well, they're backing up. Well, actually, I guess they stopped. They already stopped, so they're waiting for us. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been an absolute pleasure and an honor. On behalf of the United States Air Force Reserve West Coast C-7 Station Demonstration Team, 729th Airlift Squadron, and your United States Air Force Reserve, we thank you uh, for your great attention. We've a great time out here, Watsonville. Uh, once we get uh, Stu and uh, Leo and those folks on board, we're going to take off to a tactical departure. Uh, we'll spiral up over the field and, uh, and head out of here. So uh, thanks a lot, everyone. Thank you so much, Captain. Then they're going to zip this thing up and they're going to do another one of these tactical takeoffs for you. All right, give them a nice big wave off. They're on their way. There they go. Isn't that cool, huh? You get on a commercial airline and they do a pushback from the gate, they do that with a the tractor. These guys do it with four big engines. regrettably retiring. He loves doing these air shows, but I think he'll be back as our guest here before too long. What a great shot. What a great shot. The other day, they had all this marvelous technology, four computers and manual control capabilities, heads-up displays, latest avionics, 
And he said, this baby flies like a light airplane. He said, you wouldn't believe how nimble this thing is. And yet it can weigh over a quarter of a million pounds.